Blues and jazz are our great American art form. And when it was created, there were women there. It was 1923. The hottest band in Chicago was King Oliver's Creole Jazz Band, featuring a young, lively pianist by the name of Lil Hardin. Now, Joe needed a strong second trumpet, so he telegraphed down to New Orleans for a phenom he knew named Louis Armstrong. And he, in turn, was entirely bewitched by her, a young, refined lady that loved jazz so much they called her a, a Hot Miss Lil. <laughs> Tammy Hall. Now, honey, it might take a week, it might take a month or two, it may take a week, it might take a month or two. But that day you quit me, honey, it's gonna come on home to, to hurt you. Oh. it all my days and it seems like trouble's gone follow me to my grave Alberta Hunter who sang for presidents sang for royalty sang for soldiers and sang for us. Alberta Hunter who broke down race barriers and gender barriers and making a comeback at the age 82 shattered all age barriers. Here's a song she wrote in 1978 for Robert Altman. Just seems to sum it up just right. Well, you may think your journey's over. You're weary worn and nothing seems the same. You may think your journey's over You're weary worn And nothing seems the same Don't forget you're not alone Remember Remember me Remember my name Remember Remember Memphis Minnie Remember Remember Doris Fisher Remember Remember, Remember their, their names. names.